know that next year will be Manchester United ready to move to finally sign £40 million player, report. Manchester United were considered favourites to secure the signing of Gonzalo Inacio in the last summer transfer window. In the end, they opted to lure Martinez to strengthen the central defence, as per reports going on in the media. The Red Files are eager to finally lure the Portuguese defender. According to recent report covered by Courier Daman Havia Sport Witness, the Old Trafford outfits were impressed by the youngster performance against Arsenal in the Europe League. The news outlet have mentioned that Manchester United are ready to move to sign him for, from Sporting CP. The Liga Nos Club are aware of the interest and are looking to get a fee of 35 million euros for a player sale. On the other hand, record claim the Lions want to hold on to the player and are looking to extend his contract. The renowned Portuguese newster have mentioned that Inacio's current deal is due to expire in 2026 and it has a release close of 45 million euros, 40 million pounds. It is stated that Sporting want to over the 21-year-old sold a pay rise. Increased the release close to 60 million euros and extend the deal for a year, why did he until 2027? The back line has largely improved under Ten Hag. Manchester United have already kept 11 clean seats in the Premier League, whereas last season they only kept 8 clean seats. Harry Maguire has started 5 games in the PL, all is captain. Decision and needs to leave to play regular first team football. If the England international departs, then Tenag must sign a CB to replace him. Inacio has won two Portuguese league cup titles, one Super Cup, and one Premier League trophy with Sporting CV. He has already made over 100 senior prizes for the Jose Alfredo Stadium outfit. In other news, Manchester United earned the point on Sunday, but it will still go down as a ghostly afternoon. Casemiro's second red card of the season means he will be hit with an extended suspension and banned for four games. The Brazilian will miss the FA Cup tie with Fulham and then Premier League fixtures against Newcastle, Brentford, and Everton. There's are some tricky games at the best of times, let alone without your best midfielder when you're already missing Christian Rexon and Marcel Sabitzer is also sidelined. Then late on Alejandro Ganacho was on the wrong end of a skipping challenge. It was similar to the scissor tackle from Andy Carroll that put Ericsson on a south for months and just like the Dane Garnacho hobbled out of Old Trafford on crutches with his foot in a protective boot. Hopefully, the Argentine hasn't suffered an injury as serious as his teammates, and Eric Denag was optimistic after the goal is draw with the tension. He was limping a little bit after the bad tackle. The manager said they brought on another striker and I didn't want to take a race. We were already down to 10, and with one player who is maybe 90%, that's why I took him off, but I think it's not too bad. So that be the case then, it will be a massive real life. Garnacho has been electric decision and one of the players who has been capable of changing a game from the bench with decisive action. Losing him for any length of time would be a big blow. But one potential seat for Lainey is that it could provide an opportunity for Facundo Palisri to build up on his impressive but brief appearances. The Uruguayan was signed back in 2020, but it's only a decision that he has finally met his debut. This is surprising, as he's looking quite good in his limited time on the pitch. 
Well, the Swiss made six surprises all from the bands and has made key contribution in a build up of three goals. The latest game against Real Bodies after he had only been on the pitch for a matter of second. Hernandez picked Paul Street out with a corner and then he turned it on the after born out to leave three defenders in the dust before his cut back was eventually turned in by Woodwick Hooks. He was brought on in the closing stage against Tamden too and was so positive in position as he looked to create a winning goal. His role pass and directness are something United like in their other wingers and he's still just 21. So it's plenty of room to improve but he needs more minutes he wish to build up on it. Should Garnacho be out for any amount of time, then Pelistri will move up the picking order in his absence and should get more opportunities. The series trip to Sheffield will be a perfect opportunity to hand him his sports start in the red shirt, with United already 4 to 1 up on aggregate. Pelistri has been showing signs of real talent with his positive impacts. And now United could be about to learn just how good it is.